update desk with the hardest working man in show business, Matt Weiner and Jalen Rose. I do what I can, John. I do what I can. <laughs> Jalen, thought on the uh, MVP race? Wow, that was a big time conversation. LeBron James has to be right up in there. Dwight Howard's playing well. We got a lot of viable candidates this year in the league. All right. It's our job, as you know, Jalen, to keep an eye on everything going on around the league. And here's what's happening so far. Cleveland getting a huge night out of Larry Hughes, his second game back from injury. 36 points and counting at the moment. Looks like Toronto's going to end the Hawks' three-game win streak. T.J. Ford is having a night there, 26 points on 11 of 15 shooting. He's having a tremendous season. He's a guy that pushes the ball for the Toronto Raptors. When he's out there on the floor, he makes them a running team and have the ability to get up and down the floor and really make plays. I really like what T.J. Ford is bringing to that team. Kevin Durant's two for his first three. The Pistons shooting 58%, leading Memphis as they try to win their ninth game in 11. And the Jazz, having lost three in a row, we're, uh, have just tipped off out west. We'll keep an eye on that as well. well. What catches your eye tonight? A lot of things catching my night. Thank God Jamal Tinsley's back in the uniform after what he went through this weekend. LeBron James, Barajal back in the lineup big time for the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, you got the possible return of Tim Duncan. Golden State's been playing tremendous since they got Steven Jackson back. A lot of exciting, intriguing matchups going on in the league tonight. And Jalen and I? We've got them. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our eyes on you as well, so don't go anywhere. Jamal Tinsley, you heard Jalen talk about that. We will have much more to talk about that shooting incident in Indianapolis as we continue with more. We're just getting started right here. When we come back, we'll have plenty more, including hearing from our experts, Rick Buecher and Mark Stein, talking more about the possibility of the trade of Jason Kidd. Ginobili again will drive. Oh, the 2007 NBA champions in action tonight against Golden State. Everybody now says I don't want to be here. I'm having one of my best seasons. Why would I want, you know, want to be asked to be traded? We'll find out whether or not Jason Kidd will remain a member of the New Jersey Nets. Jason Max Seal with a dynamite dunk. The Pistons looking for their of the hour, Matt Weiner along with Jalen Rose. And one of the underrated stories in the NBA is how teams can get by without their superstars. We saw the effect the absence of LeBron James had on the Cavaliers. They were 0-5 without him. Spurs were able to get by through just a week, a couple of games without Tim Duncan, who may return tonight. And the Washington Wizards are very much hanging around without Gilbert Arenas as he sits out with his knee injury. The Wizards in action tonight in D.C. against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Randy Whitman back with the T-Wolves back on the bench after undergoing back surgery. He missed three games. Everybody's missing time. Yeah, it happens over 82 game period, but the teams that are able to respond over the long haul are teams with depth. Karan Butler with the steal and the finish. He had 20 points and 10 boards. Antoine Walker with the jumper. Craig Smith, the putback. 15 points in the first quarter, a career-high 36 for him. Andre Blatch passed Al Jefferson. Wizards up three. Al Jefferson having a tremendous season for a bad team. 20 and 10 basically waiting to happen for the next few years. That's Roger Mason Jr. Ocho. Wizards up by six. Mason Antoine Jameson, he'll drop the three. It's an eight-point margin. Butler to Jameson. Lead swells to 10. 18-point game now. The Wizards are flowing. If the Washington Wizards can get consistent play from Brendan Haywood down low, they will be a legitimate team in the Eastern Conference. Points, rebounds, and blocks on a daily basis. How about Blatch kicking it back out to Mason for the three? He had 17 off the bench. Butler to Dominic McGuire. Oh, that's a nifty finish. And I'm really happy for Roger Mason. I was a teammate of his in Chicago and Toronto, making a name for himself coming up big tonight. Wolves made a run late. Al Jefferson with the jumper, two of his 14, but Butler to Jamison, bump bucket, 22 points, 13 boards for him. Wizards by 16. They've won four of their last five now, and, and Jalen, they're eight and five without Gilbert Arenas. The Wizards now a game above. 500 as we check the scores around the league so far tonight. Here's what else is happening. Cleveland a winner with LeBron James, Anderson Barrage out, Larry Hughes all playing. Toronto a winner as well. And see the Washington score the only other final in so far. Now at a game over 500. What does Washington need to do over the next couple of months without arenas to keep themselves in the playoff? Hunt? Keep being Karan Butler. He's playing amazing, shooting over 53% from the three-point line, scoring over 22 points tonight, really playing at a high level. All right, John, back to you.
Matt and Jalen, thanks a lot. Stay where you are. We'll get back to you again. Detroit right now up 184 on the road at Memphis. Let's listen in with FSN North. Success against the Pistons last year, Sean, averaged 17 a game.